Also tonight, a Richmond College student is dead, two others injured after they were hit by a train early this morning. Now, we just checked with Miami Valley Hospital here. Lenore Edwards listed in critical condition while Graham Nissen is in good condition. The three were walking near the intersection of North 8th and Northeast Streets in Richmond when they were struck. Dan Edwards in Richmond with the latest on the investigation. Any death, especially one so jarring, so tragic, uh, so unexpected, um, it's going to be difficult for them. Well, Mark Blackman, spokesperson for Earlham College, expresses his concern for a campus in shock after three of its students were struck by a train, leaving one student dead. Today, the campus is virtually empty as officials canceled classes to absorb the tragedy. According to Richmond Police, 21-year-old Teresa Heyman of Burlingham, California, and two college friends, sophomore Lenore Edwards and senior Graham Nissen, were together enjoying an annual gathering of college students in Richmond's Depot District downtown. College night is where all the kids go out and they party and they just get free and do whatever they do. Police tell me around 1 o'clock Friday morning, the three were struck at this busy intersection at the corner of North 8th and E Street. These paint circles show where they were struck. The area down there, the depot district, is um, an area that is uh, quite popular with our students. What's well, here where Heyman was pronounced dead at the scene while her seriously injured companions were flown to nearby trauma centers. It is a well-marked but rather large crossing. Nearby, I spoke with Indiana State Police investigating, and they tell me the crossing gates and bells were working at the time of the accident. Blackman tells me college night out is designed to get students from all four Richmond campuses together. We wouldn't want this particularly tra particular tragedy um, to sort of impact um, any of our students um, interacting with Richmond businesses uh, because we do think that that's very important that they feel a part of this community. Well, the Quaker-based Earlham College, a liberal arts college, is providing grief counselors to provide emotional support for the students while police continue their investigation. I hate to ask this question, but is alcohol a problem on this campus? I don't think that alcohol is a problem here more than any place else. Sometimes somebody needs to watch out for these kids. Blackman tells me at this campus of 1,200 students, very close-knit. It's going to take them a long time to recover from this tragedy. Reporting from Earlham College in Richmond, Indiana, Dan Edwards, 2 News.